In this part of the tutorial, we're going to introduce one of two ways to test two conditions at once, and we're going to do that in iOS. So we'll be testing two conditions in one if statement. Until this point, we've only tested one condition at a time. So now we'll test two simultaneously. So if both conditions are true, then we can log into our account because we'll be looking at the is logged in variable again and considering the example of trying to log into an account. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to look at one of two ways to test two conditions in one if statement. We'll explore the first in Android, or first in iOS, and then the second in Android. So, let's go back to the thought of the isLoggedIn variable. So, again, we had a Boolean. We called it isLoggedIn. We'll set it to false to start off with. So, we talked a couple times about this is logged in variable so if you have an account and you're not logged in the variable might be false and then once you are logged in the variable will switch to true now how do we log into an account generally we have a username and a password so let's create some of those now and I think a string is a good way to represent both of these so let's call this username and we'll set this to set this to mammoth and we have a string password and this is going to be interactive okay so this is the makings of an account here we have a username a password and an is logged in variable so the condition we want to test let's say we're trying to log into our account the condition we want to test is to see if the username and password match those that already exist in a database okay and if they do match then we change the is logged in to true and then we'd be able to access our account. So let's write the condition to test those. So we'll write it in the view did load. So we write our first test and that's going to be if username equals mammoth. Okay. So and then if it does then we can change the is logged in variable to true. Okay? And then what we want to do is we want to print it out or rather change the label text to display the is log the results of the is logged in variable converted to a string. So all we have is one one condition being tested right now, and that's if the username is mammoth. If it is, we log in by basically changing the variable to true and then just print it out. However, that's not how accounts work. Generally, there's a username and a password that both have to match. So now we need to test two conditions at once. So the first way to do this, and again, the second way we'll explore in the Android version of this tutorial, is going to be by using the double ampersands operator. So this represents what we call an AND operator. So that means there are two conditions that both have to be true. So the second condition would be if the password equals interactive. Okay, so we want to test two conditions this time and we're choosing to do it in the brackets of just one if statement. So again, this is the AND operator. So if we want this test to pass, if we want this code this highlighted code to execute, then we need both of these conditions to be true. We need the username to be to match mammoth and we need the password to match interactive. And just as a side note, if we're using the double equals with a string, that means if the strings contain exactly the same value. So if I were, for example, to get rid of 1m, they'd no longer match. Okay, so once again, both cases have to be true. If one of these two cases or both cases are false, then we don't execute the code in the curly braces. Let's go ahead and try that now. We'll just run our simulator, again using the iPhone 5S. And we don't want this application output to come up. That's just the console. And we see we have the is logged in variable changed to true because both match. However, what if one of these doesn't match? So we'll just change this password to 1234 or something. Let's run it again and see what happens. 
Now in this instance, we have only one of these two cases being true. So only one of these tests will pass, but we need both of them to in order to execute the code. And we get false here. Again, we don't want this. Not sure why that's popping up. So because both tests didn't pass, because both conditions weren't true, and we have the AND operator, the is logged in variable was not changed to true in this particular instance because the code inside these curly braces didn't run. What we can do, although not necessarily applicable in this particular example, is we can use the or operator for such times. So again, this is similar to the and operator. It's these double vertical lines except this time this allows either one of these conditions to be false. So this test will pass and the code within the curly braces will execute if either one of these conditions are true or if both conditions are true. So the only time it will fail is if both conditions are false. So unlike the AND operator only one of these conditions needs to, be, needs to be true in order for the code to execute. So let's just demonstrate that now. We'll stop and rerun it. <clears throat> so again, this code only executes if everything in, this, in these braces is true. And in this case, it is because this is saying if either of these cases or both are true, then we pass. And we get true printed out. And that's because at least one of these two cases was true. If both were false, then we get a false because this code wouldn't execute. So that's one of two ways to test a more than one condition inside an if statement. If we really want, we can test many, many conditions inside the if statement. We can add many ands and a few more conditions but that gets a little complicated and a little slow. So we'll just keep things simple and we'll look at the second way to test more than one condition in the Android version of this tutorial. In this part of our tutorial, we introduced the first of two ways to test two conditions at once and we used iOS to do it. So we considered the example of an account that we're trying to log into which has a username and a password and an is logged in variable. So we change the is logged in variable from false to true if both the username and password match the strings that we passed it. So by now you should be able to use the AND and the OR operators in if statements to understand what they do and to be able to test two or more conditions at once in the same if statement.